My name is Alan Duvall. I'm the Medical Technology Group Team Leader, and I'm going to introduce you to the N2 5XA with the Microcell B80. On the N2 5XA, we now have a Pro 6 control that includes SGI 5. Uh, on the 20,000 RPM spindle, we have through spindle coolant and the HSK A40 taper. Our tool changer, we've expanded from 21 tools maximum up to 36 tools. We now have the ability to access those tools while the machine is running from outside of the machining envelope. The part that we're going to show you here is a fibula trauma plate. It has nine different tools, 29 minute cycle time, cut out of TI6AL4B. We're using Raptor work holding on an Arola pallet inside of our Microcell B80. The Microcell B80 has 40 pallets, uses an Arola ITS148 pallet. We can use multiple different types of pallets, so it does not have to be just an Arola pallet. Uh, we can have multiple different size pallets in the system. We can change grippers out. Uh, we can have a flip gripper on there, and we can serve two machines with this cell. Some nice features on the Microcell B80 are the coolant drip trays, access to the entire unit by opening the doors so we can access all pallets, and we also have a load station for easy ergonomic loading of pallets. So in the medical industry, as with all industries, footprint is key. The combination of the N2 5XA, which is going to be a horizontal five axis platform with a very small footprint, along with the Microcell B80, gives us a very compact automated system. The N2 5XA horizontal machining platform has a very large workspace to floor space requirement ratio. It's also a horizontal machining center, so you have excellent chip evacuation. Small footprint, good chip evacuation, large work envelope makes it ideal for the medical industry. So that's what our N2 machine looks like connected to our Microcell B80.